The Tramontana slightly stepped down for the second day of the 20th defilé in Gruisson. After yesterday's apocalyptic condition, it blew today around 30-35 knots average, the perfect wind range for everyone's fun, whatever the gear and the goals are. Uh, for sure, I need much more practice, so it's, uh, it's obvious, but for the first race, I'm very happy that I finished, that I didn't die, that I didn't drown, so I think that's a good good thing to start. <laughs> My goal is to beat uh, all the wave guys, you know, like Philip Costa and Ben Profit and Yesterday I was in front of them, so uh, it's, it's, it's nice, you know, I have a kind of a goal. <laughs> <laughs> In front of the pack, Nicolas Goya delivered a full masterclass today, winning the two 35km races. The Frenchman was actually flying over the water and seemed unbeatable on the course. To be mentioned, Nico was using 3.7 and 4.5 with a 350 front fold wing. Yeah, you need to be really focused on your mind and like all your abs, all your, all, all your shoulders, I mean, as the muscles are burning because you're just like get, having a sail and you keep it as safe as possible, not to make the front move. And if you just like let it go, if you just let, let go, you're dead straight away. So it's hard. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> yeah, it was really good this one. Finally, I didn't get late to the start, so it went very well. You have to carry twice the weight, so it's harder. But it's uh, twice the fun, so it's cool. Fastest on Finn today was Antoine Kettel with his 5 5. The Caribbean rider achieved two runner up positions today, placing himself into fourth overall tonight. Ouais, la vitesse est très bonne, j'ai vu que dès le départ ça le faisait. Sur le bas-bord aussi, vu, sur le retour aussi, j'ai vu que ça le faisait. Donc euh, après, j'ai géré parce qu'il y a moyen de, de se mettre au tard rapidement. At the leaderboard, Antoine Albo keeps leading the fleet in front of Jordi Vonk and Pierre Mortefond after three races. And thanks to the upcoming discard, keep an eye on Nicolas Goya's comeback tomorrow. The discard will come, but everything can happen. A crash happened, so I'm just I'm just taking race by day, by race, and we see at the end of, of the weekend. In the women division, Justine Lemaitre won the two races of the day, sneaking into first overall just ahead of Delphine Cousin and Marion Mortefond. Second one was super hard, 
like everybody was crossing each other more than uh, the first race so super hard it wasn't an easy race but uh, happy to happy to win it i'm just gonna give my 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 max and after we'll see uh, how it ends <laughs> yeah, i think it's never finished we are really close we we jive together we do reach together so honestly let's see tomorrow after the Next race is Big up to Johan So from Denmark leading the youth division with an impressive ninth position overall. Halfway to the end of the 20th defi, the suspense is at its climax and you can still expect high octane racing tomorrow. Now it's celebration time of the Defi's village and the Defi Way Music Festival is in full swing tonight. The Tramontana will still blow hard tomorrow, so stay tuned for some more epic action. Anyway, I'm looking forward for Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs>